Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will explain you about the working of an enhancement type NMOS transistor. Watch this video till the end to understand through pictures and animations that how an NMOS transistor works. So let's get started. Before learning the operation, let's see the structure of the NMOS transistor first. NMOS which stands for N-channel metal oxide semiconductor has a P-type substrate and then N plus that is the highly doped areas of N type to form the source and the drain terminal. There is also a gate terminal which is separated from this architecture with the help of an oxide layer or the silicon dioxide layer which acts like an insulator. So in total there are four terminals, the source, the gate, the drain and the substrate or the body terminal. Now when no gate voltage is applied to the NMOS structure, the source and the drain regions interfacing with the p-type substrate form two p-n junction which resemble two diodes in series opposition. This means that no current can flow from the source to the drain even though voltage is applied at the drain or the source terminal. Hence, if no gate voltage is applied, then no current flow can take place because as you see, this forms two diodes in series opposition and hence there is no flow of current possible from the source to the drain or the other way from the drain to the source. The working of the NMOS when we apply a small gate voltage as shown in the image, the holes that are shown in the green color below the gate terminal, because of the positive gate voltage, these holes will get repelled and they will try to move towards the p-type substrate and this will create a depletion region just below the gate terminal. Further increasing the gate voltage will also cause the electrons from the p-type substrate to be attracted towards the region below the gate area. So electrons are attracted because of the positive voltage at the gate terminal. When the gate voltage is positive, the electrons are attracted to the region just below the gate and hence the concentration of electrons keeps increasing in this region. At the same time, the holes are repelled. As the gate voltage is increased further, more and more electrons are attracted and start to accumulate in this area and this causes the inversion of this region to the N type instead of the P type which it was originally. So what you observe is that because of increasing the gate voltage and more and more electrons getting attracted to this region, the area just below the gate will now behave like an N type instead of the P type which it was originally. This process is what you call inversion. From here comes the definition, on increasing the gate voltage, more and more electrons got attracted to the area just below the gate terminal, hence the inversion happened and the channel is created. The value of the gate voltage for which the inversion of this region below the gate occurred and a channel is created is what you call the threshold voltage. This is very important. So the minimum gate voltage that was required to be applied to the gate terminal so that you could have converted that area from P type to N type and accumulate enough electrons so that a channel is created is what you call the threshold voltage. So now a channel is created just below the gate terminal. What you need to do is with a positive voltage at the drain, the electrons will be attracted towards the drain from the source and hence due to this movement of the charge carriers, the current conduction will begin. So now what is required is that after creating that channel, you just need to give a positive voltage at the drain so that the electrons can move from the source to the drain terminal. So when we apply a positive drain voltage as shown, we have a voltage of 0.1 volt at the drain terminal. All the electrons, they start to move from the source to the drain and this movement of the charge carriers causes the conduction of the current. Further, if we increase the drain voltage, we need to analyze a point over here. At the source side, the effective voltage between the gate and the source is expressed as Vgs which is equal to Vg minus Vs 
and Vs that is the source is at zero potential so hence this value Vgs is equal to Vg. But when we look at the drain side the effective voltage between the gate and the drain is Vg minus Vd and because we are saying that we are increasing the drain voltage this value will be continuously decreasing. So what you observe is that the effective voltage from the source to the drain terminal is changing as we increase the drain potential. This causes the channel that you just created to be tapered at the drain end because the effective positive voltage at the drain side is reducing with the increasing drain voltage and hence less number of electrons will be attracted towards the drain terminal and this will cause the channel to take a tapered shape as shown in the figure. Beyond this, if we keep on increasing the drain voltage further, then a point will come when the channel will get pinched off at the drain side and this will cause the effective length of the channel to reduce. As shown in the figure, you can see that L effective is now the new channel length and it is not exactly the area between the source and the drain. It is a little bit less because it is pinched off at the drain side. So, we understand that as the drain voltage increases further due to pinch off, saturation of the current conduction occurs. And beyond that, even though the drain voltage is increased, the current remains saturated at the same point. So what you understand is that to begin with the conduction, we require a positive gate voltage and then to start the conduction to happen from the source to drain, we need a positive drain voltage. The current will keep increasing at this point, but when the pinch off occurs, then the current will get saturated to a particular value. This is how a NMOS works in the most simplest way. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. I will see you in the next video.